Now, with the conclusion of last year's general election and the fact that less and less women have participated in it as contenders, well, the debate about uh, around what roles women are supposed to be playing in nation building seems to have become a bit more intense. Now, while some Nigerians hold that participation in governance and public administration would give greater empowerment to women, there are those who say Nigerian women can actually make their impact in national development felt in a profound way through other means. Well, Dr. Jane Onalapo is the general overseer of the Abundant Life Ministries, and on the occasion of International Women's Day, she joins us now to discuss the roles of women in nation building. Good day, welcome to Newsday, and happy International Women's happy Day to the both of us. Welcome. Me. Welcome. Well, in the role of nation building, obviously we've seen that it's a uh, male dominated uh, spheres, politically speaking, but um, there are people who feel that women can uh, assert themselves and play their roles in other ways. What's your uh, take on women in nation building? My take is that women should never think about gender. I don't think about gender when I want to do anything. I here, don't here. even think about mm -hmm. it. Because I believe God made us male and female. So when you begin to think, oh, you're a female, that's when you draw back or you don't want to do what you're supposed to do. But if you don't even think about it at all, you just hit the road running. So for me, for nation building, for anything that should be done, no gender bias. I definitely agree with that. Oh, <laughs> well said. Well, you know, part of uh, the role of women in nation building is also uh, their presence in the governance and what you would expect them to also do. Uh, for those uh, who at least supported the election in those offices in the first place. So if you were to just, you know, randomly give an assessment of those who have been given an opportunity to serve their communities, uh, especially in public office, um, how would you, you know, rate uh, their performance uh, in terms of what they have given so far within Nigeria? Oh, well, averagely, I would say, Averagely, yes, but I think we can do more if we are allowed to do more. If we are given the opportunity to not, not to, not to, not to say that we should be without guards, but if we are allowed to use our initiatives, our instincts, we will do more than we are doing. Because I believe women have great insights. Men have foresight. But women have great insights because of our debt, because of our, of our make. So if we merge insights with foresight, the nation will go further and better than what it is now. So I think we are doing well, but I think we should be allowed to do more without well, too much of policing. Very good, Dr. Onalapa. But um, in the face of being given that opportunity to do more, as you've rightly said, you know, there are those uh, barely we, we could take, I'm not going to be specific here, mm -hmm. but those who have been given opportunity to serve mm -hmm. and barely just a few months or being served, you know, were given that opportunity and then they're mired in, you know, controversies and acts of negativities where we hear of uh, um, financial impropriety, yeah. as it were, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, when you've been asking people to serve, you know, you're given more chance to youthful members of women and then you hear things like that so the truth is that yeah. we also have such things among men mm -hmm. so what differentiates so, between men and women when it comes every to human being like is that? the same whether mm -hmm. you are a man or you are a woman it depends on your heart your love for the nation your love for the people and who you are yourself you know you could be a man and mess up you could be a woman and also mess up mm. so because we have women that are not doing well does not mean that we don't have women that are doing well we have a lot of them i don't want to begin to mention names mm. So let's not judge the other women by those who didn't do well. There's another in Yoruba that says, if you close your eyes because you don't want to see a bad person passing, when a good person passed by, you will not know. So open your eyes, decide who you want to follow and who you don't want to follow. So let's not judge women by a few that are not doing well. Mm. But I think we have many more that are doing well and we should give kudos to them and encourage them to do well. Anyone that is not doing well, we fish them out just like we do with men. As it is with men, it is with women. Mm. And what is the role of men in this whole situation? Because women can do as much as they want. You can be as excellent, you can be as uh, error-free as you want, but we still know that the systems are created and gatekeeped by um, men 
and the patriarchy. What role do men in higher positions, uh, what role should they be playing in looking forward or looking backwards and pulling up a sister, uh, not, not literally speaking, but pulling up a, a, a female in order to um, propel them into whatever uh, sphere or let them sit at whatever table that they're allowed to sit at? As a clergy person, I'll go by the Bible. The Bible says men are not good alone. That's why God made women to support them. So if every man understands that, then they will be able to allow the women to bring in their own uh, input and impact to make the work better. How many men can live without a woman? Let's talk about it. Mm. Physically, emotionally. So we should not be abused just to be in the inner room. We are more important than just being in the inner room. God has wired the women to have so much that we can give. In the Bible, Deborah was a judge. Barak was the captain. But he wasn't ready to go to war because he was afraid. And Deborah said, oh boy, let's go. He said, well, if you go with me, I go. She said, I'll go with you. And she supported him so well. She didn't take any glory to herself. All she wanted was victory in the land. She got the victory. It was only the women around that celebrated her. But that was not what she wanted. She wanted victory for the land. Barak was running away. He wasn't bothered about the trouble in the land. But Deborah was bothered as a woman. Because women take care of our husbands. We take care of our children. So what bothers the society bothers us more than the men. So she did it. And the report, the report is there in the Bible. So men should just have that understanding and know that that is the way God wired humanity. Men are not good alone if they don't have women working with them. And every society where we have women tagging along, I tell you, go through the history of the world. Such communities, such countries, such states, they advance faster than communities and states and organizations where it's only men thing and women are not allowed. Well, very, I don't believe in well women revolu revolu very revolution. Well no, 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 no. <laughs> women are supposed to be supportive. We are right. not supposed to be the head. But if you well, have a head and you don't have a neck, you mm -hmm. can't connect to the body. Well, there we go. <laughs> well, there we go. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon, Dr. Jane. And once again, uh, happy International Women's Day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Women's International Day to all the women folks out there. <laughs>